Hey, welcome to our set of beers, Jack and Barbecue. Check out the rib roast we did on Jack's gas grill. Hey, I'm Craig, man behind the cameras, Jack. This is also Jack's house. We're on location using gas, front gate gas, or Jack's gas, uh, front gate gas grill. We got, um, I think it's about seven pound rib roast here. It's just choice, because um, sometimes for me, rib roast is, rib roasts are fine, they're just being choice. Because um, this one has some nice marbling, marbling. We got the rotisserie bar set up, ready to go. The grill's fired up. Can't wait to do it. So 24 hours ago, I hit it with this Selena Crystal Salt. Um, let that sit till about, I don't know, two in the afternoon today. And then I um, tied everything up. I rubbed it down with a little bit of olive oil so it would hold the seasoning. And we went with some smoked chipotle peppers on top and some purple striped garlic. All I can tell you is the drive over to Jack's house, this thing smelled amazing the whole drive. So uh, can't wait to throw this thing on. I'm going to have a meter probe in here as well to, to probe it the whole time so we watch it. We're probably going to take it to about 120, 122, somewhere in there to pull it. That'll rise probably 127, 128 for a rib roast. I don't mind being a little further than the rare to medium rare that we like. Um, but that's going to be the cook. So check us out on the grill and we throw this thing on. All right, let's throw this thing on. We do have the infrared, so I didn't mention we're actually doing this thing infrared. You can see the back burner there is Jack's is infrared. Um, I do have the meter probe in here. You can see right here it's in there. That's set up. Turn on, make sure it works. So like I said, it's on high right now. I'm going to monitor the temperature with the meter probe. Um, probably want it to run about 300, 350. We'll see where it goes. If I change the temperature, I'll let you know. But Man, that looks good already. We'll bring it back when we get a little higher in temp. All right, so here we are. We're at the one hour mark. It's around right around 98 degrees. But wow, does that look good. I'm not sure if that the black we're seeing there is the pepper maybe scorching, but we'll see what happens. But boy, does it smell good. It's self-basting. Can't wait. We'll bring it back when we get to around 120 degrees. All right, so it's saying it got to about 118, so I want to kind of do a check on it just to see where we're at. The meter is saying that right now, so I want to kind of make sure where I'm really at. Yeah, we're 110. Like I said, I tried to get as close to the center as I could, so we're at 110, that's, so it's about 7 degrees difference. So we're going to let it roll until, probably until the meter hits around 125, then I'll pull it off. All right, let's check them out. The meter just hit 125. Man, that thing looks so good. So I want to see where we're at here. That's perfect, 120. We're going to pull it off. I'm going to close it down now just to get everything ready, but I'm going to pull it off and we'll uh, let it rest for about 15 minutes or so. We'll see you on the cutting board. All right, so while the roast is resting, we figure we throw some corn in the cob on here too. So I don't soak mine in water. Um, the ends of this is actually a little wet just because of uh, sitting in the fridge. But uh, other than that, I do it. I just keep turning it. We'll let that middle kind of burn out because that's where the, the dripping was happening from the roast. But every couple of minutes, I just turn it. I have it on medium low right now. So we'll see what happens. All right, so we're just under four minutes actually, but I'm starting to smell it already because Jack's grill is a little bit different than mine. So just trying to figure it out. But all I do is, like I said, keep flipping them. Um, once you start seeing the brown on these things is when I kind of decide they're done. So we'll let it go for a little longer. All right, so in another four minutes, going to do another quick flip. Yeah, these won't take as long. My grill's a little bit different. So like I said, that's why everything's different. You kind of don't know. Mine's about five minutes a piece. So we'll go another four minutes here and then one more partial flip and I think they're going to be done. All right, we're gonna do this another four minutes. We're gonna do one more flip here. That may look dark, but that should be no issue at all with the corn in there. Gonna go three minutes this time and pull them off. All right, that was only about two minutes, but we'll pull them off now. Like I said, it's 
So pretty much I just put these in here, aluminum foil, let them sit for a while. But uh, we'll show you one at the end of the cook too. We'll show you what we put on it as well. As always, cheers. Here we are, end of the cook. Beautiful rib roast. So I said it was choice um, from Costco, about seven pounds when we started. Um, I did trim some fat off and I tied it up. I didn't mention that in the beginning. Um, I did mention that I hit it with this uh, Selena crystal salt um, 24 hours in advance. And about two hours um, before we were doing the cook, I came back, put a little olive oil on it, hit it with smoked chipotle pepper flakes and some purple striped garlic. Said so smelled great driving over here. So put it on Jack's front gate gas grill. We actually left it on high the whole time because it was averaging about 265 to 270, which I thought was perfect for this, this whole cook. Um, it took about an hour and a half almost to finish it, which actually a little longer. Promoter Joe probably do about an hour, but took an hour and a half. And again, you go by the temperature, had the meter in there, did a temperature reading, was about seven degrees off, which again, trying to get the perfect center when you have the rotisserie rod going through. Um, that's why I wanted to double check it. But hit, pull it off around 120. It actually rose to about 132 from what it was saying. The meter was saying a little higher, but I knew where we were in the center. So hopefully we're cutting this thing. We're still medium rare um, was kind of the plan. We also threw some corn on the end, corn on the cob. So the way I do it is I just, I don't soak it in water. I don't do anything like that. I just pretty much throw it in the grill, medium low. Every four or five minutes I turn it on. Jack's grill is running a little hotter than what mine does. So his was every four minutes. Mine's about five, takes about 15 to 20 minutes to do it. This corn I have here was actually one of the blacker ones, just to show everybody like, hey, it wasn't really burnt, cooked perfectly. Um, this is the, called the All Shucks corn, what is it called here? Roasted corn spice. Um, something local to us actually has some stores and stands uh, near us at different events, they'll be there, but it's just a really great tasting flavor. I won't show you a taste test, but I hope you can see like, the nice color that it adds, and it really just adds a really nice flavor to the corn. So let's cut into this rib roast, see how we did. I'm gonna cut right down the middle for the first cut. Oh, there's a nice crust, you can hear it. And boy, is it juicy. It's rested almost about 20 minutes. I'm gonna say we did pretty good there. Yeah, that looks nice. So let me just try to get you know what, I'm going to take another slice out of this on an end just so I can get something that I can, can uh, try and get a slice off of. Boy, that looks nice. Now I do have this tied up, so I'm going to avoid some string here. <clears throat> nice crust on there, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to try. That crust is outstanding. I noticed the garlic right away, which is nice, and the salt, which I really like that. Not as much pepper, so maybe I can go a little bit more on pepper, or maybe what we were seeing in the black was actually a little bit of burning that pepper, so maybe that's something to try to add later on. I'll have to figure that out, but I was really trying to do just something different here, so boy, this turned out nice. Can't wait to dig in some good roast, some corn to cob. Can't beat that, so hopefully like we're seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the little bit of notifications. We'll see you next time.